Hello everybody, this is Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs. How are you doing? I am uh, going live from home today because uh, Anja was not feeling well, so she stayed home. I said then I stay home as well. So um, welcome everybody. I'm just going to wait till uh, people come in. I am going to do, let me see if I, oh, my sound is on. I need to turn that down and then I can see myself. I can. Alrighty. Here I am. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jose, Ellen. Um, welcome, everybody. Jeanette, I see here. Uh, I am going to decorate. Olivia's here. Geesje. Hi, everybody. I'm going to decorate um, the blank canvas planner with a napkin. Got a lot of questions about that. It's super simple, but I might have some tips or tricks uh, for you that might help. And... Um, I'm going to start this one as well, which is actually, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. It actually came out pretty nice. You see, got some, um, that was fun to do as well. So I'm going to start that one. I don't know, here I have it on the back as well, you see. It looks cool, cool, cool. So, um, and then, uh, well, this is basically the same as the large one. So I'm going to show and tell about that one. But uh, I had fun and I had very dirty hands making this one. And then I started another one which I will show you here uh, because we have the lace. Uh, so this is actually lace on here, but that's not finished yet. So, and I am just making a huge mess. So I will end up, I have 10 fingers. So I will end up with um, with 10 dirty fingers probably from rubbing, uh, um, rubbing the um, wax in there. And uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. It's going to be fun. I have wiped so I can clean my hands a little bit. Hi, Rick. And please like, comment, and share, of course, for a chance to win the $50 gift certificate. And, um, yeah, so the blank canvas, you love it. I, I've seen some already, and, of course, uh, people are ordering, so you get it in as well. And then people say, oh, I need to find the, um, the uh, napkin. And before I forget to say that, so this one is actually, uh, and this I, I found online pretty easy. So that is still around. Oh, uh, it's from ear. So, I H R, but there's really nice napkins around. And if you can buy them single, because on this one you have four patterns actually on one uh, on one napkin, and I've seen really beautiful napkins already. So um, and I did, and I told that I think earlier already. In uh, so I'm talking 40 years ago when Mark was born. Um, uh, I did trichem, tri I think it's called trichem in Nederlands. So it was textile paint and. Uh, and decorating candles with napkins was one of the things we did because they had a certain glue for that. So I'm using uh, Liquitex here, the matte medium. Uh, so this one. And um, yeah, the matte medium. And it is, um, it's matte. And I think that's important in this case, that it's matte. Because if you do it like this one, I did my first layer of the medium already. And because it's matte and the planner is matte, you don't see actually that you put something on there. So I would, uh, if you, because I know Mod Podge has things, uh, your local store will advise you for something else, which will work as well. So there's lots and lots of uh, possibilities. This one, I think I bought this in uh, Denver because Annette advised it to me, Annette uh, Green. So this just works great. Uh, but there's other things out there as well. So... Um, Oh, gesso and a planner. Yeah, gesso is a, yeah. Oh, curse. You know, I actually, I, t I tell you when, when I'm doing it, I will tell you as well that I messed up. So, um, which is, and I hope I don't mess up today, but you know. But uh, yeah, so this one works. The only thing I would advise is do matte because I, you know, I think that's the nicest because if you miss a little spot, you will see it when it's uh, when it's glossy and, and the rest is matte. So I, I just like matte. So that's, uh, that's my, uh... okay. So what I'm going to do, I don't have that uh, really fancy, uh, switch thing that esther and david have so i'm just going to stand up oh and look at the wall there i'm actually going to use that paint now uh you see so i'm going to use acrylic paint as well so i am going to turn the camera around just like this and then i'm going to put it in my stand here without touching anything oh sorry 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 headache for you headache for you there we go you see, one day I will have something fancy as well. But this works, this works. 
Are we straight here? And I have my glass plate, so I don't have my lights on because that irritates me because there you have that glass plate, uh, the, the, the light shining in your plate. But because I'm going to use glue and whatever, I thought it's easy if I have my, um, if I have my plate there instead of my beautiful paper. Oh, yeah, try to work. Yeah, exactly. But I've seen some beautiful rose, uh, rose with roses. And I actually have, um, well, this is, people ask for this one. And honestly, um, I have no idea. This could be, I don't know how old. I have no idea. So I don't know where this comes from. So, and there's no, there's no, I don't think there's anything on there. Oh, it does say. Oh, I looked it up, but I couldn't find it anymore. This one is uh, from Ambiente, I think. Ambiente? Or something yeah but i could not find this one anymore online but if you go online and you look for napkins there are yeah the, the one this is ear yeah i h r and those have and uh if you um uh, do i h r so the the brand ear and then tit mouse because it's a tit mouse in english and what is it pimple maze in in nederlands yeah yeah i saw really nice roses as well anita yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, titmouse, so ear titmouse napkin, you will find it. And um, and is is a pimple maze in in, in it's a, is it pimple maze in Dutch? But then if you do ear pimple maze, or t you know, depending on where you Google from, it will show up. I know I saw it in the Netherlands as well. I know I saw it in the Netherlands as well. So you you will absolutely find it. Yeah, pimple maze. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So you will find it. Okay, so um, this one, I actually put my stencils in here from Esther. Although this one is not stenciled. I'm working on a stenciled one. But then I got to kind of play. So here I have my three sets of Esther stencils in there. So, and then I can, uh, you know, save those in there. Okay, so what do I do? What am I going to do first? And then this one, yeah, this one actually, this one has so many layers. Because I showed it on the design team. And I said, don't ask me what I did because there's so much stuff on here that I thought the paint would crack. But I kind of know how I got to this one. So, uh, and if you can see, it's, yeah, it's really pretty, actually. This is glitter stenciled and, uh, but I'm going to show you that. And this is, oh, you can add glitter to the berries. Yeah, you can absolutely add glitter to the berries if you want to. But I just liked it as it was here. So for this one, I use this one. And that's the own, so that's the TN and that is the vintage brown. So the TN01. And um, what it has, this one has the texture. You see, and that is what's so cool about this. You see, because it has the it has the texture. Do you see it? And basically, I'm going to paint it, but if you rub only um uh, uh only um uh wax wax in there, here let me show you quickly, then that will show up already, I think. I'm going to paint, but you see this, if you have a beautiful, then, then that color will still shine through. So that could be the only thing you want to do with that. And I think I used a, well, I'm going to pick a baby wipe here. But I think I got some off with the baby wipe. And honestly, this is just playing. And of course, you can always start this again. Oh, yes, Stacey Chris, Tim, collage papers, the um, uh, rice papers, of course. And some, are, I don't have rice papers here. I think I made it a little bit wet or I took a paper towel. I don't know, but uh, I rubbed it in a little bit. But you see this, and then if you take a color that you like, you see this is already, uh, you see, they, that already makes it. So the texture on this one, that is just really cool. That's the only one we have for that uh, to use for, for this. So just an idea. Okay, get my gold from my finger. In this case, okay. So, and then this one is basically the same as this one. Um, I added some gold after I added some gold. So this one is actually the green one that I used. And that green one, yeah, rice paper. That's what, yeah, rice paper, absolutely, Sherry. Yeah, yeah, rice paper works as well. And there are beautiful rice papers out there. I just don't have, I, I think I have one, literally one somewhere. But I think at the office, at the studio there. But, um... Yeah, so of course, and that can be really good as well, because then you don't need to um, buy a whole pack of, of napkins. But I know there's, there's uh, lots of websites that just sell you single napkins, which is great. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to start, so, so you will see. Um, so this one already, I, I did put something on there as well, and here I rubbed some gold, and here I tear it, you see, and uh, did some splatters. Some gold splatters, some white splatters. So it's basically the same technique 
as I'm doing with that one. Yeah. Oh, you put a link above to some beautiful rice papers we have in stock. Oh, Michelle, I need to check it out. I need to get a rice paper or some rice papers from you. It was just this. Who started? Oh, David started with a napkin. And then I thought, oh, really? 40 years ago I did that. 40 years ago. Okay, so what am I going to do first? Uh, maybe I'm going to put a layer of paint on this one first. And then it can dry because we have all the drying stuff going on, of course. So uh, what you do with this one? And I also promised somebody... Where did I leave it now? Oh, here. Uh, and Michelle, I know I asked you for the... Because this one, the large TN, and uh, people ask about when that... Um, when the um, uh, elastic is not is not correct. Because so sometimes they come with a little bit loose. Basically what you need to do, you need to follow your elastic till it gets to the end here. You see, because this is the end. So uh, this one is a little bit loose. And then I'm just going to check. And sometimes that, you know, if you have something thicker somewhere else, you, you might want to adjust it. So I need to end here at this one. So now this one is too long. So now I need to check where this one goes. So that goes here, and then it goes here, and then I think if I pull this one, I know when I demoed it earlier that I, that I didn't do it correct. I think, and I take a tweezer, I think if I pull this one now, yeah, you see, so now I made that, that one is now stretched. Oh no, this one is too stretched, wait. You see, I'm doing it wrong again. I'm not good at demoing this. <laughs> but you kind of follow the, follow the elastic. Or did I have it already? No, this one here. And now I do this one. So you follow where your elastic goes. And now this one, you see, goes here. Now, so now I pulled off the one with the with this one. And now when I pull this, then I'm good. So basically, you follow your elastic as it goes around. And you need to end this. You need to end here. So when you uh, when you want to uh, adjust your elastic, you do it that way. So then for this one, basically what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pull this one in. And in this one, I actually had things already. So pull, pulling this one in, I can easily pull that back, uh, uh, back up. You see, this one is an old one because that was actually really thick. So I took that stuff out because I, um, I, needed, um, I needed this one and I wasn't at the office to get a new one. In this case, I will just take a piece of... Yeah, thank you for like, commenting and share. And when you work at it as well, make sure that uh, you have the front, that you decorate the front and not the back. Because I can see that happening. Okay, so what I did with this one first, so that is this one. I actually added a layer of uh, gold acrylic. And I have this one and uh, I told about it, you know, I just got this uh, in uh, in Canada. Because like, you saw it in the back just because I thought it, it looked so cool, all those colors. <laughs> so... And I don't splurge that much, but uh, this was a splurge, and I just love it. So and um, so just adding this, and when I did this, I thought, oh, that's really, really shiny. And that's when I started to kind of play. Or both sides, yeah, or both sides, of course. Yeah, but you know, you want your titmouse, your birds looking the correct way. That's basically what I want to... Let me take the small brush for this one. So I don't have... And I don't know if this is enough paint, but you can... I can easily add, of course. So, um... And I uh, was not very careful with uh, checking if I uh, went on the inside a little bit with the paint. Because I will decorate that as I go as well, probably. So, um, so any, uh, so this is, so I did not do, because this, this paint actually said, and it worked really fine. This paint actually said, what, what was that you could just apply on non-oily surface. Can be thinned with water or extended with acrylic medium. So in this case, I did not do... Uh, this on there no there's no uh, no background so it's just this uh, it's just this acrylic paint so no need hide my Elizabeth crap no this, that will show up again at the end but and this is uh, if I say that I tried 10 different things on here it's probably true <laughs> I wonder if the art I, yeah you know I am um, so not um, in touch with everything that's around yeah, Dave, oh, it's David's birthday. Yes, is he here? Happy birthday, David. Happy birthday. Hearts for David. Hearts for David. He turned the wonderful age of 40. No, it's not 35. true. <laughs> 35, you obsessed now. <laughs> no. But yeah, hearts for David. Happy birthday, David. Oh, and uh, Belinda is... Uh, it's No, not Belinda. Uh, oh, I cannot watch on my phone. 
Oh, oh, is it Belinda? No, 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 no. No, no. Let me see. Uh, who's, um, oh, I, uh, I'm so bad at names. I communicate with you all the time. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm looking, I'm looking. There's somebody that I meet, do a thing all the time. It's her birthday as well. <laughs> oh, who's, who's else's birthday is it here? Cindy, Cindy, I know again. Okay, Cindy van Bemmelen. Cindy van Bemmelen, yeah, it's her birthday as well. So Cindy, if you're here, happy birthday as well. I'm so glad I reminded that. Because I am so bad at names. I'm just going to take a little... But it's Cindy's birthday as well. Yeah. No, he's not 40. <laughs> Although if you say 50 is the new 40, then it's true. But still young. Young. Okay. Keep focusing else. I'm just trying to get not too messy fingers. Of course, normally you can just touch it and... Yeah, and it's Cindy's birthday as well. So hearts for Cindy as well if she's here. Uh, okay, so that's the base layer now. I'm going to put that in the water. Yeah, Cindy. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Anita. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so happy that I could remember. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. And that will dry. And of course, you can blow dry it a little bit. But if it's... Yeah. You know, let me do it a little bit. Because I know for sure it's necessary. So I'm just going to blow dry, dry this a little bit. And if you can uh, just leave it air drying, that's fine. But uh, as so far, when I did uh, the... And I don't use the heat tool, like the, the embossing heat tool, because I think that's warmer. But this will work. To all November babies. Actually, my sister, my youngest sister in Canada, is from November as well. Actually, this Saturday. And this Saturday, I will be on Create and Craft as well. With a... Um, with the show, with all the kids that we have. All the kids. Do, 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 do. I know. Are there more? Yeah, are, there more are there more birthdays? <laughs> I might have missed some. But yeah, happy birthday to everybody. That is. Oh, you see, that's actually dry now. Oh, that's dry already. See? That's cool. Okay, but I'm going to put it away anyway. Now I need to watch that I don't have paint on my hands when I start with the bird one. And uh, I just noticed something that I thought, okay, I need to do it different. I'm going to tell you. So uh, with this one, I did um, cut the napkin out. I'm going to show you the napkin. Is, did I cut it? Yeah, so this one actually has four images on it, you see? Yeah, I'm, I'm, do, I'm saying that I'm going to show you that soon. You see, so there's actually four on there. I did cut some leaves extra. Like you see, I cut this branch here and I cut a little branch here. So I actually used two sides for uh, mine. But uh, yeah, so what I did is so I cut it. I see, there you are, Cindy. <laughs> yeah, so um, I cut it with a scissor. And then I noticed, I'm going to lift it up. Is it? Yeah, so I saw that cut line here. So I thought, okay, I basically don't want that. So then I, uh, what I did do, I did tear one already. But then I thought, you see, I tear it. But then I thought, okay, now I tore, because I think this is nicer. But now I tore that shadow off, which I think is a shame. You see, because there's a beautiful shadow here, kind of thing, which I see here as well. So what I want to do, instead of cutting it... I want to tear it like this, but then a little bit wider. So I still see that shadow because it actually shows up really nice on that planner. Uh, it's from ear, Kathy. So uh, here, show you with this one. Ear and tit. Ear, tit, mouse, napkin. It's, it's probably an old one as well. This is actually ear ideal home range. Yeah, there's just ear, uh, internet is www.ear.eu. But if you Google it, they show up. And then you probably can buy one or two as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but that's, that's beautiful. Um, no, yeah, Belinda, I did not do that because I did try that with this. But if you want to be close, it's, it's, um, 
it, it kind of, I was afraid that I'd tear into my berries. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take, so I am going to take my tape. And you saw uh, David doing that as well. And that's, honestly, that's a very handy and, you know, very old technique as well. But you put your uh, thing here because then it's very easy because you only want to use one layer. And I think I have one, I think there's another layer on this one. So I'm going to do the same again. And sometimes you... Uh, you do them, uh, you tear them uh, both at the same time. And actually going to save this because I, well, you can stamp on this. And of course what David did in his video. But um, I also noticed because when I, well, I tell you that when the process starts. You see, this one has another layer. You know, and what we did in the early days, what I did as a joke as well. So if you use that stuff with the napkins on a piece of soap, because that was nice. Or rice paper on soap is nice as well as a gift. Then um, the top, so the top stays. So the image actually stayed the whole time with that stuff. And then the bottom just would be your soap. And um, one time I did both sides. So then you can't actually use it because then it's just like covered in kind of plastic. No, nothing goes to waste. But no, you know what I noticed? Um, they actually use this because I tried different things to dab the napkin down. Okay, so now I have this, then I will trim the one out, so I'm going to trim here a little bit, you see, so I'm going to go around here, because this I need to trim, and then I'm going to go just to the kind of the, the fold line here, you see, and kind of go like this, and then I'm going to tear. Yeah, on the side, yeah, of course, side kick is nice. The only thing with the napkin, and that's why when I saw this napkin that I had it, I thought that is perfect. And that's what I uh, noticed with uh, the rose one I like as well. So I'm going to kind of figure out how I get that one. But um, you see, it kind of blends in with the blank canvas. And of course, you can paint all because uh, somebody asked, is this canvas? No, it's not canvas. It has the structure of a canvas. So it has a structure on there. And uh, it's just a blank canvas for you to work on. So uh, it has a structure. But other than that, you can basically paint all your... And we actually did it in the beginning already once. Uh, I know at the office I have a nice one from Esther. But this is just the structure of this one. It's really nice to use because you can really see that. And yeah, it's just cool. So uh, what I did with this one already... And I'm going to put this one away now before I... Um, and you saw, oh, and I took the elastic out for this one. And I did have another one here. Yeah, so basically, and uh, I know Marga showed it as well already. So you can lift this up, and then you see that elastic here. You see? And that needs to go down. And uh, and I did not do it this way. That, that's the only thing that you need to watch, that, uh, that you do it this way. That the elastic goes down this way. So don't fold it this, because then it's too thick. So you take this, hold it like this. And then do it through that hole there. And then pull it out. So you see this goes down. No, that's not true. No, sorry. Because then it's still double. No, you go down this way. Wait, here. Let me show you. Let me show you if I can show it like this. Wait. So you basically go down like this. But you need to be in that hole part here. You see? If you see it, you will notice. And this goes down last. That part. So that's what you do. And... Um, so this one has one of the layers already. And you saw Esther decorated one as well. What did Esther do? Or was it David that did this? I don't know. But uh, like use the, I, I know Esther used the boxes. So use the boxes, you see, to, uh, because then, or something similar. Because this is the box from the planner. Because then those rings will stay in here, you see, in between. So that's easy. And this one has one layer already. And I put, and again, there's lots and lots of different things on uh, that you can use. I use the Liquitex. Professional Acrylic Mediums Matte. So Liquitex Professional Acrylic Mediums Matte, me oh, matte Medium. And uh, But again, there's lots, uh, lots. Uh, if you ask your store, I think every store will have something similar. I, I, again, the only thing that I really like is when it's matte. Because I don't want my uh, planner or my journal to be uh, glossy. So, but that's, that's personal, of course. Yeah. I know. Yeah, exactly, Lenny. I was just talking. 40 years ago, I did kaarsen. Yeah, yeah. And I did it with uh, Trichem, Lenny. 
I did trigger at the time. And I tried to figure out how that, how that stuff was named. Because it was, I know it was a, a jar, a white as well, like this. And then it had a green label. That's how it looked. But it's like, of course, really, really, really uh, old. <laughs> Yeah, so this one has one layer and you just uh, leave it to dry. The only thing uh, as a tip for this one, if you go in between here, you just brush it like this. Uh, don't do this because then all that uh, stuff is going to be in there, of course. So try to kind of keep it a little bit clean. And um, if it if it goes in there a little bit, you just take a kind of a um, ear swap and you just uh, water staff you and you just kind of clean it out. So uh, that's easy to do as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so now this one, where's my own, oh, here it is. You see this, yeah, yeah, paint, yeah, I, oh, I had those. I actually have still stuff here. I once made a, um, I'll go see where the shadow, I once made a, uh, I did a lot with Trichem. I actually have a, uh, yeah, I have a whole scenery that I made uh, <laughs> for my felt board. That I, uh, and sweaters, and oh my goodies, we did so much was fun. And that's actually what I did that, uh, uh, the company that did that at the time is actually still uh, Gemage. Yes, Tineke. That's it. Gemage. Correct. And that was Kippers. So Kippers Hobby is still around in the Netherlands. And that was the company that did it at the time. And now I think the kids took over because the parents, I think, sadly, both passed away. I don't know for sure. But um, uh, yeah, Trig in Hattem. Had ze mijn broek. Had ze mijn broek. We had big events. And my goodies. Ja, geen maasje. Oh, how that's fun. That is fun to hear. Okay, and this one I'm just going to go uh, through the corner here. And then I'm going, you see, so I'm going to, but I'm actually going over a little bit. Because you see, otherwise my, uh, my, uh, uh, you see the, the, it's going in here. So I kind of uh, had it positioned like this. You see? Uh, what I'm going to do now. So this is the critical part. If you dampen, it. Yeah, you know, I, I thought as soon, because it, as soon as I put, uh, and the rice paper is probably a little bit thicker, but as soon as I uh, put water on here, it, it flows in that napkin. And especially here, points like this, it went in too far with the water. And then it, it takes away from my leaf. So I, I think this is pretty easy as well. So I just do it this way. But whatever you feel comfortable with. I think it might be different with rice paper. Breed schilder tape. Oh, okay. Yeah, also. Yeah, that's also a good tip. Tape it off in the inside. Yeah, I just try to stay away from it a little bit. And that works well. So, uh, but that's of course uh, however you want to do it. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, so this. Let me see. About, yeah, about here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm kind of seeing, okay, I need my, uh, like to the second ring almost, you see, kind of, if I eyeball this, uh, then I kind of know how far I need to go. Then I'm going to take my big brush. Not maken van de randen van stukjes wil gebruiken. Dan krijg je vezels als je het, oh well. There's all kind of different techniques, I'm pretty sure. Because this is this is old, eh? so it's not... Uh, so all your tips are probably very valuable as well. It's just, I just played, and uh, that's why I had so many layers on the other one as well. I probably, if I Google <laughs> working with wax or whatever, but I just I just played with it myself. So, yeah, exactly. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, mulberry paper. Have so ripping it's... Okay, thanks. That's what I, that's what I experienced as well, uh... Okay, this should be enough, I think. You see, to the second ring, so make sure it's everywhere. Because I think that's key as well. Make sure it is everywhere where you want to uh, put your napkin, because otherwise it's not sticking down. And then, of course, the critical part is to put it down correct. I don't think I'm going in here, but just in case. Okay. So now the critical part is to put this down, right? Uh, because you cannot you cannot move it again. So it's a one time uh, one time option. So just lay it down. Okay. 
Yeah, and then what I uh, so I saw some, and that's actually what I saw online. Uh, let's see, because I want to have it flat, and then they used actually the the paper from the back of the napkin to dab it, and that was a trick for me that I really liked, and I would not expect that because that's paper. So I did not expect that that tip would be valuable, but it actually is. So that's just the layers I took off from the back. Because I tried it with a release sheet. I thought, oh, that's non-stick. But then I pulled up that napkin again. So that did not work. And of course, dab, don't rub. Because if you rub, you rub it, uh, you kind of damage it. And now, and you can do that when it's a little bit more dry even. You see, I going to make the you see and here and here I'm going in but I can easily take that off and then of course I need to press down those uh, oh you see now I break it here but that's fine for this I'm going to leave it to dry for a second and I think I'm good like this <laughs> washing my people <laughs> Yeah, you see, so now you want to, and sometimes it's even better to let it dry a tiny bit before, but don't rub. That's, that's basically the most important thing. Don't rub it. And then what I did in this case, I actually went around the corner as well. It's over half already. I cannot finish the other one. <laughs> Time. Flies. Okay, what I'm going to do. So you see, because I want to have this gone. You see that, that pattern, what you see here from the sides. You want to have that gone because you don't want that to show up. So dab, dab, dab carefully. And sometimes it's easy to wait for a second and then dab on. Okay. No, I can actually, yeah. So I don't see any of those things anymore. You see, so I kind of have that. And now it's almost dry already. But I am going to let this dry, of course. And what I will do with this one, I will only put the, this one on here. Because otherwise it's too much work. And But you see what I did with this one? I just took extra pieces from the napkin put it on the side here and I'm going to fold it over. You see a little bit. That's what I'm going to do uh, with this with this one. I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put uh, some um, liquid tax on the on the uh, border here, but I'm not going to fold it all the way in. Now I'm not going because it ends here, you see, because the leaf ends here. So decorating the inside is really is really nice. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of fold it over. But you can see, so you see, I, this one goes around a tiny bit. I think, oh, I thought I did some splatters on the back. But before I forget to say that, so, um, so I'm going to cover this again with another layer when it's dry. I'm going to cover it, although I really like that branch here. I should put it there. Eh? Oh. But, um, and then I, so I did another layer. Then I splattered the wine paint. And then I thought, oh, I want to uh, protect that white paint as well. So I'm going to do another layer, mistake, because this is a distress pay, uh, stain. So it's water-based and the Liquitex is water-based. So when you do white paint, water-based, and then you go over it with this one again. So it all like I all smudged it. But honestly, because I had this over my napkin, I could just take a baby wipe and got all the white off. And then I split it again. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, be careful with that. So, okay. Just going to see if everything is flat. And I think I'm good. Then I'm going to do this little piece on the inside. So, I am going to fold this one over. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of that stuff. Oh, I have my brush in there. I'll take the small one for this. Da -da -da -da. And what I will do, I will work on the other one and I will probably finish this then later. Uh, I will do the extra layer over here, but I don't do the splattering because then I am actually going to add the 
the leaves later, but I don't need to show you that because that's exactly. Yeah, no, it wasn't ruined. I thought right away, oh, 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 oh. like I really thought, oh, because it looks, it already looked really nice. And then I thought, else, else, stupid, stupid. But then I uh, could correct it easily. So I learned from it. You see, so this one only here, because I think that's a nice touch that you see it on the side here. You see, and then I'm going to leave this to dry. And here I did do the water. So when this is dry, I actually did use my brush here with a little bit of water to get it uh, out. I know, <laughs> I know. There's so many nice napkins. And I tell you, in my uh, trigram days, I had a super big box of napkins. And I think that I uh, actually got rid of those when I moved to Canada. Because I thought moving napkins after 30 years, that's a little bit stupid. <laughs> You see, so I will, uh, and again, you can see here, because this one has four patterns. Uh, so I am going to trim out uh, what I did here. I know I took this part, and I took this part, I think, and here a little piece. So you can just play with that, of course. And um, this one would also be with uh, nice with uh, some music uh, notes there. But that's a little bit darker. So this one has a darker background. So I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. You see, because that will stand out too much. If I, there's a line actually here that I could cut out with some music note. But I, I thought it was, yeah, yeah. Oh, you have nog Anita, all the napkins. Yeah, I had a big box of napkins because this is addictive. But of course, rice paper. Yeah, this is, you see, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. And I did the same here. You see, so here I have it, you see, and then here, oh, I actually folded this one over as well. I didn't know that, but I folded this one over as well here. So, and here a little bit around the corner, you see. Oh, and what I did as well, what I will do uh, after, you see, I use some white gel pen on there to kind of, uh, and I can do that before I split. I actually did it at the end, but I can do that before as well. Okay, so I'm going to dry this one and then I will go back to the other one. Yeah, it's it's honestly it's fun to do. It's so much fun to do. I was really pleased with the results. And I see little, so you have little tiny uh, uh, kind of yeah, creases. I don't know how you call that, but that uh, that will go out with the second layer as well because this is now dry. You see, so yeah, this is already dry. I see. So I'll do it a little bit, but I basically don't need to do it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, music paper, yeah. Oh, ne the, uh, Andrea, the napkin technique is so old. <laughs> yeah, music notes will be, will be a nice touch. I can, but, but this, yeah. You see, that's what I thought. If, if you do like music, but not with this, of course, but some music notes. Yeah, it might be fun. Or maybe just a few notes here. That could be fun as well. Okay, this is actually dry, but I'm going to put it aside just to be sure that I um, that it's really dry, dry. So that's I'm going to the other one now. Is this dry as well? Yeah, I can I can basically take this off already. The side here. <laughs> I got more napkins than planets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And of course, if yeah, out, yeah, exactly. But you know, that's what we have. That's that's why we uh, we crafters cannot throw anything out because everything comes back. So this one, you see, this one is it dry enough? I'm just going to make sure it's dry as well. No, 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 no but the music notes uh, I thought from there, uh, to Kathy, that uh, that might be nice. You see, so this one I am actually going to make wet here. And then I can just kind of take that off. You see. And I know I kind of roll the rest off, I think. I know, crazy. But how could, it, yeah, because I show you. So this one, I actually need to take off a little bit more. I think I did it with my nails, actually. Although I took those off yesterday, my nails. my Or I cut them, I don't have fake nails. Because my fingers were so dirty from all the... You see, so then if you do that with the water, now I have a nice edge here. Here you go. You see, so now that's nice. And um, so I'm going to put this aside. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And then I will do the second layer. 
Yeah, so the same with uh, with the gel pen before I forget to say. So the gel pen, I'm going to do that at the end as well. Because, um, and not cover it with another layer of the Liquitex. Because if I would do that now, and then the Liquitex, then um, it would, because gel is also uh, water-based. So you don't want to do that. How cool is this, eh? And what a great, oh yeah, so what I did with this one... Let me show you that. This is going to be put away. My safe space. Um, what I did with this one, I actually put uh, uh, paper in there. Like I made it into a little notebook. I thought that is cool. How, how cool is this? I only had this paper, but how cool is this as a present? So decorate one for a friend and then you can give it as a present. I thought that was cool. You can put watercolor paper in there. You can put drawing paper in there, but just as a notebook. I love it. So do you know when the blank canvas... The, the, so the blank canvas is available uh, at stores already. So not online yet. Probably uh, next week somewhere. But uh, yeah, so uh, I know there's a, probably uh, somebody put a link in her already where you can order it. Okay, so that's... I thought this was cool as a gift. Okay, so now I need to know what I did. Um, oh yeah, I know what I did. Because if you look in there, there is actually in the creases, there is... Uh, the blue paste. And I'm going to do that now. Oh, I can put my boxes away. Oh, they're on the website. They... Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Are they? Hmm. I thought it was... Okay. I have no idea. I'm not involved in anything. Maybe we have them for two weeks already. I don't know. But, uh, so I took this one. And I got this from, um, from somebody. Turquoise. And I love turquoise. Yeah, uh, yeah, black, uh, black is, I actually have a black uh, laying around with um, uh, with a stencil already on it. But I need to uh, do that, uh, I need to finish that one. Oh. Okay, that was tea. So, um, and then you see because, but you see I, I thought this was too shiny. So I actually go over this at the end with uh, this one as well. This is a dark brown, like raw umber. Roll on, but a dark brown, uh, and then I splattered some with this, yeah. So it's uh, yeah. So now, of course, my fingers go uh, because this was really way too much, and I thought, okay, but now it goes in those um, it actually goes in those um, creases, which is super cool. Yeah, this was fun to do as well. Loved it, <laughs> loved it. And of course, this by itself is nice, but, um, and I, oh, I, I tried lace on him. I tried all kinds of different things on him. Took it off again. So there is, <laughs> there is a lot of, uh, yeah. So I was running to the bathroom the whole time to kind of clean my hands again. And I got, I don't know if Marjolein is here, but Marjolein gave me kind of a, a cloth to clean your hands with and everything comes off. It's fantastic. Yeah, this is this is gold. It's a gold and turquoise. It, it, does it look pink on the no 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 it's a yeah it's a gold and turquoise. Um I love the turquoise but I thought it was too much uh in this case so I wanted to tone it down make it more vintagey yeah yeah I had gold a uh, gold acrylic paint there is no uh gesso or something under here and this is just acrylic paint. It's called artist acrylic, but it is acrylic paint. And um, I, that was one of those things that I needed. And then I used, uh, did you sell time as well? <laughs> no, I don't sell time. But you know, uh, then if, if you do this and it's so much fun to do, then uh, sleep is overrated, Sylvia. Sleep is overrated then, because then you just want to keep working. And with this one, I kept walking back to it because I thought, oh, no, that's not it. Oh, this. No, no, that's not it. And oh, my goodness. I did a lot on there. I'll tell you. I did a lot on there. That's what I said to team. Don't don't ask me what's all on here because I don't know anymore. But uh, now I kind of know how I got to this result. Here we go. Yeah, I use gold. Yeah. Do you need to seal the wax? Uh, I don't think so. I actually put um, the I put the paint over it at the end as well, and here is so what I did, that that's so what, when I did this oh 
Oh, co yeah, Koza, Koza Crafts. I actually got it from uh, Dali, uh, Dali in uh, in the UK. Koza Crafts, gilding wax. Yeah, turquoise. I know Dali gave it to me. I know. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, hello. Yeah, Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. I have your crayons here, laying at the stairs the whole time already. We need to meet. We need to meet Joseph. Or come and pick them up, or we can meet somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Now I just rubbed it off a little bit, uh, but no, I, you don't need to seal it. I think it will just dry. But again, I only have at the end. I only have it in some creases left. You actually see a little bit from me. So what my next step was with this one, and I can do that right away. I did, um, I took a stencil from the Art Journal Specials. Da, 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 da. This one. And uh, I don't know the number, but um, that's one of the stencils from the Art Journal Specials. It's in a set, actually. It comes in a set of four. A set of four of these. And then I mix some. I need a bigger piece for that. I did mix two colors of glitter with the transparent paste because I kind of wanted to, uh, well, basically what I thought, oh, if I do two kind of matching colors and just, uh, yeah, call after the life, Joseph. I'm actually going to Evergreen for a bit, Joseph, after this. I need to go to the office anyway to pick something up. But um, I will be home not late, for sure. Or if you want to meet in Evergreen, we can do that as well. Joseph only lives about 10 minutes, Joseph, away from me. I know, it's been forever, Joseph. It's been, that actually looks like, on the screen, it looks very shiny. Very shiny. Okay, and then I took um, glitter, teal, and saffron in this case. Did I use teal and saffron? Yeah, I did. Because I thought that's kind of, you know, nice on here. So teal and saffron. And a little bit of the transparent gloss. And I actually made it too much, but you know. And then I rubbed it on the side a little bit. Here we go. But you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. This should be enough, I think. Uh, 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 uh. Getting on a plane soon. Where are you going, Terry? Hawaii? Are you going to Hawaii, Terry? So I just uh, mixed this a little bit. So I did a little bit of this. And then... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Janice. I think it is Janice. And a little bit of this. Because, of course, you can mix it all. Because then I thought, oh, because I didn't want it to be teal and I didn't want it to be the saffron. So I just thought I'd mix both. And this works so well. But then I actually, at the end, I went over it again with the brown paint. So that's again, I kind of... Uh, thank you, Terry. And have a good flight. I don't know where you're going, but... Enjoy it, of course. Yeah, Janice. Okay, hi, Janice. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit of paste. And of course, it looks now, uh, but it will uh, be... Uh, shiny when I uh, when it's dry okay that's good and in this one I uh, how did I do it it's kind of in the corner here a bit oh I used the other way around this way well that doesn't matter of course you can do it however you want uh, 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 I think I so a little bit from the corner there you go then you take your paste Oh, and did you all see, I saw Annette Green here. Did you all see Annette's video about all, everything she did with the Ozette's collection? My goodies. If you didn't see it yet, check it out with Annette because it is amazing. And then I thought, okay, I don't need to do any live with Ozette stuff anymore because Annette showed it all. <laughs> so cool. So cool. You see, so I even made still too much paste, I think. Make it even. Oops. Let's 
that's good. So that's one. And I think this one has a little bit more turquoise on that than the other one. And there's actually the same pattern kind of on the other side, so I can use that. So if you use it in one, it's super nice. But in this case, I'm going to use it separate. I know, Femke, yeah. What was the white stuff that you mix it with? Uh, that is the uh, Ranger Texture Paste Transparent Gloss. And very important that it's transparent gloss, because otherwise... Um, the the shine from the glitter will not show through. And here I have this one on the side here a little bit. Like that. Then of course make sure that you don't uh, drop it down here. So it kind of falls in your... Um, wait, let me get it on my spatula first. That, that the stencil doesn't drop in your... Um, in your um, stencil that you did there. It's good. So cool. That's that one. Then I'm going to throw this in my bucket of water there. Yes, that was a good... And what I did with this one, and you hardly see it, but I know I can see it. There's a little bit of sparkle here because I thought, oh, waste. So what I did is I add some here. And just rubbed it in a bit. Because I did not know where it would end up. Uh, what I was doing. So I just rubbed a little bit here. And I did rub a little bit here. And then I thought. Oh it looks cool. And it almost disappeared again. After I was done. But you still can see it. You see so. Just a little bit of glitter. On the sides. So not too much. You see so just a little bit like that. You can, <laughs> I see, think I get my, oh, I will be so happy if I gave you your mojo back. Uh, I didn't think you need my, uh, my uh, struggling here with stuff, <laughs> my playing with stuff to get your mojo back. But if it helps, Marga, I'm glad it helps. Okay, so I'm going to clean this one. I'm actually going to throw it in there as well because I have more. Go throw this out in the trash can. This can go, you see, so that's just a... Uh, and this will uh, dry very nice. I probably go over time a little bit, uh, people. But uh, been so busy with ECD classes. You have been. Oh, you have been. You see, I don't even know that, Joseph. That's why you need to. You need to come over. We'll talk after life, Joseph. We will talk after life. Boop. I'm just cleaning my hands here because I know I'm going to mess up my uh, blank canvas if I don't keep my hands clean. Because now I have glitter here. Alrighty. Okay, good, good, good. Done. And if I dry this, so I'll lift this up now, and you see it hardly uh, sparkles, you see? But if I dry that, this actually, I did a, oh, I did a bad job here. Well, that's fine. This looks really nice, but uh, I have a little boo-boo there, but that's fine, of course. Let's me see. Thank you, Suzanne. Did you say <laughs> Never too much blame with you. Yeah. Actually, this actually is somehow this looks nicer than I thought mine was yesterday. So maybe I, you know, maybe I should leave this in the gold and uh, because it actually looks nice. And I did some uh, black stenciling here. You see, with using the same stencil, and I used a uh, Versafine Clear for that. Clear for that. I went on so nicely over the wax, really nice. Did it crack all a bit, or is it just that's it? no? That's the texture of the. What you, the crackle, what you see is actually the texture of the TN, of the journal. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> yeah, you know, I am in the lucky position that I can call this my job. <laughs> so that's why I have lots of time to do this. And sometimes I get, uh, then Mark says, oh, why did you do that already? And... Uh, you actually says that as well because sometimes I just like to craft, and don't do it. Don't don't be behind my don't be behind my computer. <laughs> Someone at the door. Gotta run. Thank you, Jen. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that to dry, and I'm going to go back. 
Will it be dry already? Oh, I should not dry it too much because then it's getting to bubble a little bit. I see that here because if you if you uh, do too much heat on your glitter, it will bubble. But uh, I actually might like this one like this. Somehow, I like the one that I this one better than the one I did yesterday. So maybe basically what I did with this one, I will stencil again. Uh, I will do the stencil the black. But basically what I did with this one, I did the splattering. No, I first did this. So uh, just some acrylic paint and really rubbed it off with the tissue. So, um, and I did that also over the glitter. But it's still, you still see the teal and the cracks from the wax. So it's actually, but uh, some acrylic paint and wiped it off really strong. Yeah. And uh, then I splattered, oh, I did some gold embossing powders on the corners. I did that as well. But I will do that with this, this one as well. But maybe I don't do the brown over this one. Because actually, look, if you have two like this, it actually looks nice. But if you want to make it like more vintage like this one, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought as well. I really like this. You see, and just a notebook, eh? So cool. I love it. So this, I'm actually, this is going to be my own that I'm going to kind of take with me when I travel that I can make notes because sometimes. And then, uh, so this one, a very dark brown. That's what I put over this one. Just put it on there. And I did use a brush. And then uh, I rubbed it off really well with the tissue. So it doesn't, you see, so it doesn't go in there. But I will do the splatter and I will do the corners. But I'm going to leave this one with this. So let me see now. So let me go back to my other one. Here. You see, so this dried actually really nicely. So even all the, I didn't notice it yesterday. But even all my crinkles are out almost. So, yeah. But uh, so I'm still going to do an extra layer and I have the idea that I need to say that you need to do that a little bit fast. So don't hang in there too long because then you might kind of uh, lift it up again. I don't know for sure. But yeah. Uh, okay, so get my, um, my brush. Thank you, Vicky. Yeah, the bird is really... I love the bird with it. And I love how this napkin kind of flows into your um, uh, flows into your journal. And I really like that I tear it better than what I did with the other one. That I cut it. So, um, and work. <laughs> Sylvia, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spanish. You know, Spanish is... That's actually... I should... Yeah, that's a nice... Should be a very nice language to learn. Yeah. Okay. And then you want to go on a holiday every now and then, Sylvia. Okay, so this one. Yep. I think that's enough. So just cover side as well. Oh, shoot. Wrong else. I should have laid it down. Sorry. Can be like this. You see, so, uh, and you will actually see that your uh, napkin moves a little bit again. So don't do it. Do it fast. Do it fast. So now it has that protective layer over it. And then air a little bit. And that is it. So then I'm going to leave this to dry. I might just blow dry it. And here, if you, again, if you went in the, um, in the spine a little bit. And here I can you know, put that down. I'm thinking fine, yeah. Okay, dry that. You could put some nice words at the top, around the words. Yeah, exactly. You know, I will look because, of course, I want to look for more napkins as well. <laughs> or stem some. You know what might be nice? Oh, I still have the stems from... Um, I will try that. I still have stamps from, and oh, if you still have them, they are on sale. I don't know which one, if you all have them, but I have the stamps from Sue Smith. Those really nice words. Oh, I have them at the office. Did I not bring them here? That's all the other ones. Flowers I have here. I don't know who else. Well, I will do that. I will take them from the office. I will make a note right away, because that needs to come home here. So if you take the stems from Sue, those big words, and if I stamp that on this, on the leftover from the napkin, 
And then kind of tear that and put it on here. That will be nice. Oh, there you're going to look for the napkins as well. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Note in my box for this afternoon. Bring the stamps home. So I will show it later. So I will, um, because I think it will be really nice. That's a good idea. Thank you. That is a good idea. Okay, so that's dry. And then what I did is, so this is now basically ready. Oh, we need to dry it a little bit more. Wait. So then what I did, and I will show you the splatters as well, because I can still... Yeah, who was the, who gave me that idea? Because that's actually nice. I think that should work. No, this is not uh, time consuming. Yeah. What ink would you use to stamp it? You know, I need to try. Uh, well, I can try with another. I, you know, I really like this one. But in this case, I would probably use a brown. Let me try. I have something to stamp. I just don't have the big words here. But I can easily try a stamp. What's missing? What do I have? A word or something? Oh, not some word. Okay, I'm going to do a flower. Just a second and see if that bleeds. Because I have no idea. You could well be right that it does bleed. And, and then I would use a brown. Maybe this one. Let's see. Um, let's try. Of course, I honestly have no idea because I never stamped on a napkin. Put this here. Try, try. So this is the leftover. Oh, archival ink. Okay, Kathy. Oh, this is I love because this is so detailed. So I love this to stamp. But uh, let's try. We don't try. We don't know. And maybe this one bleeds. I have no idea. I think it would only bleed if you make it wet or not. Do you think so? You got to go to sauna. <laughs> Have fun, uh, Suzanne. Oh. <laughs> so now what do we go to? Oh, David did this on the, with the stamps of Esther. Ink on the napkin. No, it doesn't, Yona, actually. You know, I think when it will, what, what it will do, it will bleed when you start coloring, I think. Because I think anything you use to color. But this this looks really pretty. That looks really pretty. Ay, ay, ay. Who gave me now all those ideas again? Because now I need to do that. I need to try that. Love it. Love it. Okay. Great idea. Thank you for that. And I will do that. I will pick up the... Then I won't post a picture of my finished uh, 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 planner today. Because I will... Um, oh, wait. Let me do that first. I will... Um, I will make the word there. Yeah, that's sharp. Sylvia, that ink. I have it in all kinds of different colors now. But that is really nice. To stamp the Claire. And uh, I actually got that from Joseph. Joseph uh, used this one. I know we, you know, and then I, I bought some more colors, yeah. And then this one, so I'm actually going to use this in here because I don't know if, it, yeah, because I made such a mesh with uh with the splattering always my on my clothes and on any anything. So I'm going to use this one, and I know there's different ones for that, but I'm just going to do it in a box because oh my goodness, did I make a mess? And then I have splatters on the floor, splatters on my clothes. I saw it with uh, Marha, you had splatters on the side of your work as well. <laughs> okay, just shake, shake, shake it. I know. There must be a... Hmm. I'm wondering if we have something else. Probably anything will bleed on the napkins, doesn't it? If you color. I have uh, inklets. I have stamped also on tissue paper for the RJ. Oh. Put the link here, Ingrid. Put the link in. And, and of course, uh, David did it as well. David did this during his uh, video. And of course, I've seen that. So. And this one, I, ju I just used this. And you can do the... But I thought this one can. And actually, uh, if you want, you can mask off the bird as well. 
if you don't want too much snow on that i think i did that with the other one but this is enough for it so if i don't want to have more on the bird then i would just take a paper but then i should have done it up front but i want a little bit more here and then i stay away from the top what is the difference between VersaFine and VersaClear? I honestly have no idea. Um, the VersaClear is a new one. Is it clear? VersaClear? Because that's basically, it's not clear, it's VersaClear. Um, what is the difference between the regular uh, VersaFine? You see? Done! How cool is that? And then, but I need to dry this now, but then I uh, will still go in there. Let me see. I had do I have version fine here, regular one. No, I have archival. Ba, 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 ba. I don't have other. No, that's not it. I don't have other version fine here. No, so I don't know the difference. Michelle of any, any store owner still here? Oh, it's uh, updated version. Oh, okay. Thank you, Michelle. And it's Claire. I first find Claire. Did a Claire. What does Claire stand for? Is that a lady that these, they kind of figure this out? Claire? Okay, so it's over. Uh, so, so, and then I use the, my favorite gel pen, the Jelly Roll uh, White number 10. You can see everything. Oh, you're over time, you're over time. Uh, you see, and I just, but I, you know, I should let this dry, but I just kind of went into the vein a little bit. Don't, don't overdo it. Just a little bit. You see? But again, I'll finish this one later, but just a so a vein every now and then. You see that? But this is enough already, but uh, this could be it uh, already. And then uh, for this one, but you know, let me not uh, finish everything. But um, this, is mine. this one mine. Is that yours? <laughs> you, you want the bird. You have two. I have two? Yeah, I, I do have two. Oh, I see somebody texting me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know her. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, that's a joke. But uh, uh, Michelle probably. Won't. <laughs> Michelle doesn't like making things. She yeah, likes yeah, takes though. Yeah, not yeah. Things. I have to say, Michelle, of course, I can say that. So Michelle sometimes takes a class, uh, takes a class with me, no, we'll and then it, it is, it is actually, yeah, we make and take, uh, make and take, and then she just comes to the table. And she says, uh, I want to do the take part from the make and take. <laughs> you really see, did say that, uh, Michelle. Can I do the take part from the make and take? <laughs> that was actually fun. Okay, so what I will do with this one um, um, later, I will use the same stencil, do some black here, and do some splatters with, uh, uh, with this one, with this color, kind of a teal color. And I will post that one. But then, uh, you know, uh, I will do that later. Because it's... Um, it's past a one already. <laughs> I have that attention span of, <laughs> of a gnet or a rat. <laughs> I don't know what gnets. But yeah, Michelle. Yeah, that's literally were her words. I like the take part from the make and take. So I thought that was funny. It was just funny. But I remembered. Uh, so uh, that's it. So uh, I will uh, finish this today. I will finish this one later today as well. And then uh, I will try the word on there because I think that's actually could be really pretty. So I want to thank you all for watching. And again, uh, like, comment and share. And for the store owners, this will make a great class with rice papers, of course. Um, so I need to try that as well. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll see. Oh, on Friday, Lisanne will be here. And will I be here? I think I will be here on Monday. Yeah. I think I will be here on Monday, but I yeah, I will be here because Esther did, uh, did the other uh, Monday. So I'm pretty sure I'm here on Monday. And then I'm starting to travel again. So um, then we have guests, but I will mention that all next week. So Lisanne on Friday. So make sure to tune in for that one. Thank you all. And uh, Joseph, I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye.